Yo guys, what is going on? Today we're going to do a quick tutorial and this is just going to be making this procedural kind of fire. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to start by deleting everything, doing shift A, adding in a circle. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go tab and then hit 2 so that we get this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go E and enter. Then you're going to hit S and we're just going to bring it in just a little bit like so. That's basically all we need to do, that's all the editing that we need to do now, we need to go over to the, um, well, we don't, we just need to split the screen here, like so, we're going to change this to graph editor, then we shall go and make this color black, and we're going to also hit tab again to get out of edit mode, now what we're going to do is hit new, and delete this principal BSDF, and what we're going to add in is a mix shader, put this mix shader here, and we're going to pop the, the shader into the surface. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go add in a emission. So type in emission for this here. And finally, on this part, we're going to go add in a transparent. Then connect the transparent to the shader and set the emission to the shader too. Also, we want to be on render view. And now we're going to go and change this to a nice kind of fiery orange. Put ambient inclusion bloom screen space refraction on as well. Then, what we want to do is go shift A, add in a color ramp. I'm just going to put this color ramp here, connect the color to the factor. And we're going to add in a wave texture. And this wave texture is going to control most of everything that we've, we're going to use. So, once we've got this wave, we're going to connect the factor to the factor as you see it hasn't done anything that's fine then go control T to add in the node wrangler and we want object then what we need to do guys is we need to go and change these settings these are very important for this to work so we need to change the band to ring and it might help if I um, bypass this, bypass this for the time being, we'll change that to ring, and then we're going to change this X to spherical, and we're going to change, and we're going to change these settings here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a scale of 1.1, change this distortion to 7, we want to give this color of like, this black, and this is very important, otherwise this, none of this will work. So now we can actually see what we're doing, which is always very important. So now when we bring up this detail, you can see that it's beginning to add these blacks in. And when we drop this, and the black is this transparent, but when we drop this color ramp on there, when we bring this white down, it brings in more of this. I believe so like we can just make it like as one singular ring stuff like that but we need to still modify this to round about three let's say and that's round about all the editing that we really need to do maybe pull this back a bit but see um you can you can change stuff so the more that you change the smoother the rings get I like it round about here so this is what I'm going to leave it as. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit N on this. And we're going to get the um, options. We're going to change the blend mode to alpha clip. Oh, so now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to change this all the way back up to the, um, the white. And now you can't see any of this black. It's all now transparent. So we can go back and turn this off knowing that we won't actually see any black to interfere with our scene. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split the screen again, and we're going to bring in a timeline, and we're going to animate this now. So let's say we wanted to um, spin this, like that's one rotation there, which is alright, but I would go with the Z, and you can see it's spinning around in a circle. So let's set this to I to insert a keyframe at frame one. 
and let's bring it all the way to 250 and let's change this to um, 720 and we'll change this also to 720 let's hit a keyframe and go I now when we play it we've got this you know it doesn't it doesn't look amazing right now but to make it look a lot better we can bring this brightness up to let's say 30 and we're getting that really flamey almost amazing kind of look then uh what we did or what i did in the um in the preview is i went and added another one of these so click on this go shift d duplicate then what we're going to do is we're going to go s and scale it down just a little bit then this is where we change all these settings around before we change any of these settings we need to click copy so that it copies it into a new one so we're not modifying this first one and we need to we need to now bring up bring down the scale let's bring this down to let's say negative seven and we'll bring this to around about six Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit tab and we're still on that inner line. We're going to hit S. We're going to bring it out like so. Then we're going to go control A and apply scale. Then if we view it like this, it's, it's looking all right. It's not looking, you know, the best, but we can just bring this out even a little bit more if we want and we're getting this kind of look now we can we can do the the inner ring so click on the outside one and go duplicate enter then s scale this in then we just want to play with these settings and maybe no we don't we want to go and copy this one more time and we want to bring the uh, the scale down maybe and maybe bring up this just a little bit and play around with it that's what I did and now we have this obviously it all looks like it's going the, like the same way so the way you can combat that is for this center one if you want it to go even faster so bring it to the end and set this to negative 1080 and set this to negative 1080 as well then hit i now we have this spinning the opposite way and i think that's really cool along with we can change the speeds of these ones if we want but guys there we go this was a quick tutorial Hope you found this helpful. If you did, drop a thumbs up. If you didn't, drop a dislike, and I'll see you guys in the next one.